Business community in the International District is calling this a very frustrating time and they're hoping for more understanding rather than fear from the general public. Hey, how are you, sir? Tai Tung Restaurant is an international district institution. And you've been in this neighborhood 85 years. Not myself. <laughs> I, have, I have been here only 51 years. But the restaurant has been in the neighborhood 85 years. Owner Harry Chan says all those decades in business can teach a lot, like what to keep the same. See, one thing good about this one, you know, when we have no power, we still can able to co uh, collect the money. <laughs> How to treat customers. Sure, no tea, water. And when certain headlines might impact business. It does uh, hurt the business a little bit, but as I said, you see, we expect that. Chan says news of the coronavirus outbreak has slowed down the flow of customers into his family's restaurant. Nearly 20 years ago, the same thing happened with news of the SARS outbreak. I and mean, it shouldn't be that way. Well, of course not, you know, see, but that's the way it happened. That's the way we have to deal with it. It is very targeted to this community, and that's been extremely frustrating. Monisha Singh is the executive director of the Chinatown International District Business Improvement Area. She says the Lunar New Year is usually a time of booming sales. Instead, multiple businesses from restaurants to grocery stores have been reporting the opposite. A lot of it, I think, has to do with the stigma of this, of the virus in, in China and in a Chinese community. She says the stigma of associating the source of the outbreak with an entire race of people is damaging. And instead, this should be a time of neighbors supporting each other. We want them to know that business is open, our neighborhood is open, and everyone is welcome here. And to just be mindful of how the virus actually works and it's not a race-based virus. So far, we're okay. It's something Chan would like others to realize as well, as he hopes the impact that this particular headline has is just a small note in his restaurant's continued local legacy. Hopefully, no bad news, no see, and back to normal. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, good night. So on Saturday, the BIA will be hosting its annual Lunar New Year celebration in the International District. It's, it'll be from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And Singh hopes that people take this as an opportunity to not only learn about the different cultures in the ID, but also to help support the businesses who have recently taken a financial hit. Live in Seattle, Vanessa Mishania, King 5 News.